Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. A famous YouTuber slash Instagrammer has come out and announced that she is now taking off the hijab. Because a couple of days ago I stopped wearing my headscarf. I feel like the incongruity of my not wearing it in my personal life and then putting it on for my you know online videos, it didn't feel right. Now what's very interesting is that she's been on YouTube for a very long time and I have never seen any of her videos with the hijab in the YouTube trending section. Now suddenly when she decides to take off the hijab, YouTube has decided, hey you finally qualified to be in the trending section. Maybe it's one of those unanswered questions of the universe. Hmm, I wonder what the criteria is to make it on the blessed trending section. Look I'm not a religious figure, I've said that from day one. Um, it's one of the reasons why I became like quite reluctant to kind of make videos where I talked about my faith. She's done what? She's taken off the hijab? Bro, you gotta expose her, you gotta refute her, you gotta call her out. Mm, nah, I don't think so. Oh, let me guess, you're gonna judge her now right? Yeah all you brothers are the same, self-righteous, handsome, hypocrites. Hang on a minute, did you just call me handsome? I I is that the phone ringing? No don't try that again, you called me handsome isn't it? Oh yes, I do have 20 minutes for a quick survey. Go ahead. It's my new friend Vikram, can you excuse us yeah? My sister I am really sorry to hear that you have come to this decision but I would like you to remember that you are still our sister and you will always remain our sister as well. I mean as men or even as non-hijabis we cannot understand how difficult it is to wear the hijab in the current climate that we're in and we're not so low that we're gonna abandon somebody just because they're going through some hardship. But if I'm brutally honest I don't really blame you to be honest. Brace yourself. What are you saying bro? Are you a woman underneath all that beard? Do you secretly wear heels and go salsa dancing every Saturday and have a dance partner called Marcus? What? No. From, from a small and impressionable age, our sisters see makeup laden non hijabi women pretty much everywhere. From, from when they're young and they get their play dolls to when they're watching the cartoons and TV shows and magazines that they're reading to social media where they are bombarded with photoshopped and face tuned selfies that get loads of likes and praise and attention and naturally they feel left out because they don't even get that sort of praise from their own family members. I mean where's the father? He's too busy working, when he comes home he's tired. Try to tell your daughter every now and then that she looks beautiful so she doesn't need that validation from other people. Even when it comes to respectable platforms like news anchors yeah or female government leaders or I mean even our school teachers all pretty much non-hijabis. And because they're exposed to all of this is it any wonder that our sisters don't feel like they fit in? And what's the Islamic narrative that they're getting to combat and curtail all of this. The first place should be at home in the integral first 10 years of their upbringing. But like I said the parents are too busy either at work or on their phone watching their dramas or they're just dealing with issues and problems of their own. Or they just get pawned off on the madrasa a couple of hours in the evening when they're knackered where they go and they just read the Quran in Arabic so they're not really getting an input of practical applicable knowledge of Islam in their daily life. So because of the absence of parenting the kids spend an extortionate amount of time in front of the box. Yes, where all they see are people 
that aren't practicing their faith. So to these small and impressionable minds, to them this is the norm and this image is being constantly bombarded into their subconscious mate. And whilst all this is happening, boom! Hijab time mate! Yeah that's right. Naturally as they wear it, most probably don't even know why they're wearing it. I started to wear the headscarf, I started to wear my hijab when I was 22 years old, a lot of you know this. It was a spur of the moment decision and it surprised quite a lot of people in my life and now I've decided to stop wearing the hijab. Again it was a fairly spur of the moment decision. And on top of that, the normality that they're used to seeing on TV, they're not seeing on themselves. People treat them differently and of course because they're wearing the hijab they're expected to behave better than other people even though they are pretty much in the same boat as everybody else but they just have a hijab on but they don't understand it's just extra responsibility. I, I was kind of being put in this position of responsibility which I absolutely did, was not comfortable with because you know and, and it's one of the reasons I never actually shared why I wore the hijab. And if by some miracle they've passed all of this, I ask you, which famous female scholar can you mention other than Yasmin Mujahid on YouTube? Which famous female YouTube influencer that's got a decent following can you mention on YouTube? And you tell me how many events for sisters have you seen in the last month? <clears throat> how many in your local community? That's if women are even allowed or even have facilities in the local mosque to begin with. Is it any wonder that they lack the attachment or appreciation of the hijab? And then we got the nerve to blame them? Nah mate, the blame should fall upon us. I said it mate. Now we wouldn't steal in front of a policeman because we know his or her power and authority. We wear seat belts because we know the consequences of not doing so. We wear uniforms at work and at school because we may trust and respect the one who has told us to do so. And here we should likewise be teaching our young about the Creator. Inculcate his love and respect. If they have this they will automatically appreciate his injunctions as well. And you won't have to tell people it's fard or that they're sinning or they've reserved their place in the hellfire and all that sort of stuff. Now the question arises, alright mate enough of the lecture, what do we do now? Well firstly understand and appreciate what the sisters are going through. Give them more opportunities to educate, edify and enlighten themselves on the religion of Islam and help them access the people and the material that will help to inspire them and that will help to motivate and keep them going. And as for the sisters that watch videos like this of influencers taking their hijab off, of other sisters with hijab getting attacked on the streets because of Islamophobia, that get minimal support within their communities and even at home but they continue to wear the hijab all for the pleasure of Allah. By Allah my words are too cheap to praise you. The word queen is too lowly to describe someone like you and that's why I can only leave it to Allah to reward you. Guys I don't think anything else needs to be said, let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.